flash and the fundamentals. Two complete opposites solve the world. If you're listening on iTunes, don't forget that you can watch these podcasts by subscribing on our Facebook or YouTube channels. God, I, I've been such a bad couple fucking weeks. Um, it was a bad couple weeks when we started this last time. It, there's always bad couple uh, weeks, but it always has good linings. Okay, it seems like this one might be. Um, this, this might be completely about me. Fuck Trump. Uh, all right, here we go. Scallywag. Small batch release. I don't know what the hell got there. Yeah. No, uh, no, no, no one's not going to come 30 seconds matter, later. Right? Matter, man. Perfect. Uh, um... <laughs> Welcome to Flash and the Fundamentals. Uh, I am your host, Adam Contrast, with uh, Don Full of Love. And today we are joined by Mr. J. Aaron. I think I need a nickname. What's your nickname? I oh. don't know. I hadn't thought about it until now, but um, you know, you're you know, you're Flash, you're the fundamental. Either way, J or Jason? I, I I never care. It doesn't bother me. It's like interchangeable. Really? That's weird. Yeah. Most well, people you give know, a shit. it's interesting because I set up my Facebook as J, because that's what most of my friends call me, but this goes back, you know. I don't know, 10 years, whatever. Right. And then I had to, like, make a professional decision at some point and went with Jason. So, I don't know. I really just don't Well, care. it sounds a little more eloquent than yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jay. Yeah. Do you ever go for my Donald? Never. Yeah. Especially now. What's your IMDb, now, though? Why now? Why now? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Really? I'm sorry. Totally. Really? Yeah. Totally yeah. yeah it didn't, didn't occur to me. Well, what's your IMDb name? Uh, Don or Donald. Because some stuff was done in the early days under Don. Black, Back to the Future was done in uh, yeah. Donald. Yeah, Black I heard future, that yeah. stuff. <laughs> oh. Back to the what? Yeah. So, um, that, so, see, so you have two names on IMDb. Right. Yeah. That's got to be annoying. Not really. I don't even deal with IMDb. Well, I was going to say, you have you, to be on better. some stuff in IMDb <laughs> yeah. for that to be annoying. God, I'm sorry. It's been a while. Just, I don't yeah. use IMDb. Right. You know, I don't, that's, <laughs> it's that's not about what, you. It's about people looking for you. Yeah. I'm pretty findable. It's called Screen Actors Guild. <laughs> oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Um, anyway, let's uh, start off with our normal uh, segments. Um, uh, I'll, I'll believe you for last. Okay. Because you are the... You are, you are, uh, the It'll the, give me the most time to think the, about it anyway. Yeah. So, Don, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's been, what's been going on? Well, man, you know, it's uh, 2018 again still. And I'm still, you know, doing the same thing I was doing on the last podcast. So you're just going to tell me you were golfing and... <laughs> Hey, you know it's a it's a dull life, man. It's a it, it's a real dull What's life. What's your handicap? You've been golfing for a month straight. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Drum roll. Yep. The fact that I am handicapped at playing that game. Okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So no, recently. Okay. So what's up? I just started taking golf lessons. Right. So so that's a good thing. And I got this trainer who used to be like a Mister California or something. Right. And he's going to make me Mister Somebody. Okay. So that's the little cool. arms are going to get bigger. So the first episode we had you cutting your hair. Now yeah. you're getting in shape. Yeah. And that, so clearly you just broke up with somebody. <laughs> because there's no <laughs> That's that's where, where, that's where the, was that next? That's the order of how things work. Um I'm learning how, I'm I'm how to play golf. <laughs> I'm getting in shape, cutting my hair. <laughs> this shit just doesn't happen. There's no way that you did That's a lot. That's a lot for that is a lot for sixty days. Well no, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna be real honest with you. I was always thinking about cutting my hair. It had nothing to do with a relationship or not? All right. What made you cut it then? What made me cut there it? Had when, to be a when, I, when I got my passport, I got my passport. Passports for ten years. I've had mine now for four years. When I took the passport picture, I pulled my hair all the way back and right. patted it down so it looks like it does now because I was seeing where the future. You see what I did there? Well played. <laughs> yep. So I mean, it, it was a, it was a, uh, it was a process. You know, yeah. I'd had that hair for twenty years, man. And then, you know, I just wanted to have a different look. So I'd just be a, a different... So 2018 was it, man. Right, it's the right. reinvention of Don Full of Love. And at about the same time, I was, we were talking about uh, Flash and the Fundamentals. We had this documentary coming out. A little yeah. more exposure. It was like, hey, let's... let's, let's uh, a new you. I went the opposite direction with how I look. Yeah. Um, yes, you did. Uh, Mine. Yes. But wait. But if, what? What's up with you? There we go. I saw. There you go. Um... Oh, I don't know where to start. I, nothing. Just nothing. It's normal. It's regular, good. regular January. Just been... Um, I had a couple car problems last time um, uh, we spoke. Uh-oh. And it was really... It was it was getting pretty stressful. And I was you know, having a hard time. I kind of decided I would just grow this beard out. Because that's how I feel. You know, when I look in the mirror, that's exactly how I feel. And then... Um, Do you have a stylus for that beard? No. Oh. No. You use oil? No. Do you use a comb? I have used a comb. I can do some crazy <laughs> shit with it. It's starting to get to the fun phase where you can do some shit. Um, but you need, yeah. You need some wax to do that. A, f- yeah. a, few, a few days after our podcast, the car exploded and went on fire and um, looked like a complete total loss. And um, 
uh, here's the good news. Um, I now have a really good ending to the documentary. Yeah. Which you, you saw. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, an, it's, entirety. It's, it's a nice emotional... Roller coaster ride. What the fuck is this? Oh, by the way, did you like that I added that the fire was out? I felt like I had to do something. I couldn't explain everything, but I couldn't leave you with actual flames. That seemed too... I mean, it comes during the credits, so right. it's it's not, you know, it's not part of the story per se. I didn't feel like you were ramming down my face that the car didn't burn down, so right. that was okay. I just, when I had it before where you didn't see that, it was kind of like, okay, that's bullshit, dude. You have to, like, come. you have to... I, you might not be able to exp- have time to explain everything. Okay, but, uh, me yeah. as a non-filmmaker, right. just as a viewer of things, I love Game of Thrones. Right. And every time Game of Thrones ends the season, right. they end you with a fucked up cliffhanger where you don't know where it's going. Yeah. Right. Well, that's every show. Cause they yeah. they, exactly. They want you to watch it again. Exactly. Well, they well, also don't know where it's going to go. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Well, and, and it's, well, they were down show. Yeah. 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 At, at this point, you know, I have to f- end the film at some point, right? You can't. You can't just keep adding. I hate documentaries that just keep going and they just keep adding. You're like, dude, there was a point at some point. Stick with it. Um, and if yeah, if this was a, a a TV show, oh hell yeah, I'd leave it at the big cliffhanger. Fuck yeah. But listen, there might not be another show. There might not be another movie. There might this might be it. You know. Um, I'm sure as fuck not funding another documentary. Unless somebody's on board, oh, are you kidding me? Well, you this doesn't really feel like a documentary, though, to me. What is it? What's the fiction? <laughs> no, no, it just feels like a a true story told by it's, Adam. It's a reality show, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, exactly. it does feel like more. It has more of a narrative weave yeah. to it yeah. because also it doesn't it doesn't take place in real time, obviously, but right. it doesn't take place over a very long period of time either. Right. Like, uh, it's it's quick. There's a beginning and there's an end. There's drama. There's hills, peaks you, and valleys. Yeah, do, oh, to me, like documentaries yeah. are you sitting up here, you're, you're you're learning something about something. This kind of seems like a journey, man. Yeah, no, no. I mean, leave it to me. Um, what um, what did you like? I mean, I, I haven't even asked you. He watched it on the plane. I by did the way. watch it. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm, I'm fresh. I've seen it. Yeah, like you, three hours ago. Yes. What was your first takeaway? What didn't you know was going to happen? Because you didn't know a lot of it. I knew a lot of it. You knew the Kenny shit, but you didn't know... I mean, I knew you broke the record. Right. But I didn't see it. Right. So, first of all, I've been thinking a lot, for me, for myself, next doc, something having to do with, like, the joy of life, because the world is so fucked up and there is no more joy anywhere. Right, man. And I've been thinking about sports and whatever, so not related to this at all, but the scene where you break the record, yeah. uh, that struck me because there was, like, genuine actual human raw joy emotion yes. there yeah. that just doesn't exist it right. was, anywhere. It was, it was an interesting... Uh, Amy, it was real. <laughs> what I loved, my favorite part of that whole thing is Don not knowing. Not knowing. I couldn't right? freaking see the thing if, if something was in the way, man. And you were truly happy. Like, you could... The, the truth is he was happy because he got to go home. <laughs> um, just so you know. Yeah, like, story didn't end there. Yeah, part, part, <laughs> part of it was like, how fucking long do I have to be into this goddamn Fontana again? It's well, you didn't up. have to run the thing four times. Yeah, right. And right, when right. you found out, too, because you didn't find out from the paper, you found oh, out... Well, that bull- bullshit, I, t- when my cousin came up yeah. and told me. Yeah, that was so nerve-wracking for it to end like that. Um, you know, the big thing now is getting distribution, will they give a fuck? Do you think the people that you knew at Gravitas, the people that you talked to, or any distributors that you talked to, is that something that they would be interested in? I mean, there's a story there. There's definitely a story there. And content is king. Like, yeah. you have a story with content. It has a Back to the Future car in it. Right. <laughs> no. No, the Ready and Player Don't One. And Don Fola. Well, that's... now it's a shoe in. It's going to yeah, yeah. be like yeah, a, a plethora of no, the, a listen, series. The, open, up, open up the Oscar noms the, for next year. <laughs> the tie-in the tie with the, the DeLorean and the Ready Player One, that's just I just recently I figured out what you were talking about, this Ready Player One. I just saw a trailer on it. That's insane. It's a kid from Columbus, Ohio. It's insane. And the seeing the beat-up DeLorean... Oh my goodness! My car just caught fire and everything's burnt. <laughs> you are the most unlucky, lucky, lucky dude I ever right. saw. <laughs> yes, yes. So yes, yes. My car caught fire. It was awful. But at the end of the day, uh, I should get the wiring harness tomorrow or the next day. I might uh, have to tow it to one gig on Saturday. But it looks like I've cleaned it all up, replaced everything I could. I think I just plug in the wires, turn the key, and we're good to go. I do know what caused the fire. I am not at liberty to mention it uh, right now because it's rather inflammatory. So I'm just going to say nothing. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) No, I think everybody knows there were some issues with the build and that 
eventually when issues are bad enough, you can cause that fires. That was a bad issue. Let's not talk about it anymore. It's a pretty bad fucking Let's issue. Not talk well, about I walked it away from that documentary going like, this car is not safe. Yeah. <laughs> like at all. Like right. this, yeah. I, safe's not even the word. Stable. Right. There's no stability in this. This thing like just doesn't, st- like this car sucks. If I told you that what caused the fire is actually what caused every single issue and I fixed it. Every single That's the issue. crazy part. I mean, I guess we can get into it. It doesn't really matter. It's not like I'm giving anything away. But there was a grounding issue where the starter cable, the positive to the starter cable, the hook on the positive. The red line. The red line. It was a little too big and they didn't wrap it correctly. So it was resting on the metal of the starter. The metal of the starter is where you ground a starter. That's just how that works. So right. basically you were creating a short, it was arcing, and it was sending, not only when you ho- held the starter, was it sending power back to the battery, which eventually melted my battery. Um, it was also sending that negative interference, basically, throughout the whole motor, through all the wires, all the time. So you think that you're going to plug in this wiring harness, and that thing's going to run but normally. Wait, but wait, what? there's more. Uh, what? Oh, the, yeah, well, I mean... Let me find out all the information ah, before I add okay. it. That alone was enough to cause the fire. <laughs> okay, right. um, that alone. But what ends up happening when you have an arc through an entire system is that you, um, you arc finds the weakest point and fucks with it. So I had a little you know, fuel line. It's a basic electric. Yeah, ba- basic principle. electric. It's gonna. It gets gonna. The least resistance to ground. Right. So. It, so. It, so you think you're gonna start that car and it's not gonna stall every five seconds? No stalls. I mean, you have a brand new engine in yeah, there. Yeah. No. No power dips. No starter issue. Because if of you that. told me that you were going to put a brand new Corvette engine in my whatever, I don't care that it's a thirty-five-year-old piece yeah. of shit. Yeah. What? I, yeah. And the amount of stuff that you had to replace. Yes, everything. That thing should run like it's brand Perfectly new. Perfectly for twenty. And years. it runs like it's seventy years yes. old. Yes. It runs worse. I'm going to reserve opinion. I've just ridden in it. <laughs> well, you've ridden in it. You're yeah. In, yeah. It's fast. Oh, it's um, fast as hell. When the, here's that's the other issue is that when if, you cut that weed, though, dude. Right when <laughs> I when, when I get the um, when I get this all put back together and running, there's a good chance I dyno it and it's suddenly like a hundred horsepower higher. How do I not take that back to the track to see what I should have got? Like, there's a Why part not? of me that's like, oh, but Jesus. won't you have to wait down the, with that much more power? Wouldn't you have to wait down the front? No, you want a wheelie. Yeah. Oh, you'll get it's it in the drive. Get some, yeah. get It'll go even right right further. Out. You could ride that thing on two yeah. wheels down the whole track. Well, I mean, I'm, it's never going to be enough to flip the whole car over. That's, I, I mean, fuck. I wish I could have seen your eyes when it went up those little six inches, well, though. There's a documentary, actually, uh, where it shows that. Imagine uh, that. Fucking big. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, that thing is way too low to flip backwards. It would be really hard. It's yeah, so I, low. It, it would need to be like 5,000 horsepower. That's It's not like a jet car. Right. You know, it's, uh, we're talking about maybe adding 100 horsepower. It's not it. Uh, anyway, that's for the that's for the sequel. Um, <laughs> I, 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 my, the only thing I wanted to hear from you was, yeah, here's a guy to talk to a gravitas. I think they're gonna like this. I think with Ready Player One coming out, I think it's an easy sell to Netflix. Yeah, it's not there. It's gotta go somewhere. Yeah, it's gotta yeah, go somewhere. I mean, Amazon's buying up shit left and right. I mean, it should, yeah. I mean, the only problem is it's basically shot on iPhones. You know what? I watched it. I watched it on my MacBook Pro. Right. Which is the resolution's almost. It is 4K. Oh, I have a 4K. It was a 4K file. Yeah, yeah. so... Like, I didn't, it didn't bother me to shot an iPhone. It looks pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I did all... I mean, the great thing about it, so much of it is picture-in-picture, picture, that that 2K thing is at full resolution. Listen, I, so. I, was, I know plenty of guys going to sit, they're going to tell you that the bitrate and the codec and right. shut the... I mean, yeah, yeah, it yeah, looks yeah. fine. That's what, You know what I don't get? When you watch the news at night, and they have people's cell phone footage. It's like a very common thing now. It looks and it looks like shit. It's like what what phone garbage are you using? exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? All you have to do is just hit the camera button, and hit record. Yeah. I mean, even if you don't turn it sideways, like why? I hate what? when they don't. Oh, do it that. makes me crazy. Oh, I that, hate when they like, do the straight they, up and down. What are they shooting on a StarTac? Like yeah. what? What are they? <laughs> a flip phone? <laughs> like what? What? I don't, I don't get it. It's 2018. Yeah, how, yeah, does, yeah. how do people's cell phone? We cameras, are a bit more techno geek than most people. Clear. Look at look, look behind you. Like, Have you seen this I, yet? I just go. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, this is crazy. I have the same good. TV, by the way. Oh, do you? the this is a forty nine. Yeah, it's a forty nine. I think I have the exact same one. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking. Got it. Thanksgiving. Three fifty nine. Like what? What happens when it rains? You have that protected? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> you thought of that? <laughs> I'm glad. Jesus Christ. So, of all the things that I can control. Um, what do you build that in? What program? That's just a Premiere. I just made a file. Crazy. There's nothing to build it in, really. It's just that's just a video file. That's just a video file that's running on a 10-second loop. That's it. 
Now I made it, um, I, I rendered out like a three hour version just so I could have that scroll at the bottom. But oh. no, all you, all you really do is, is that, you know, you make a 3840 by 2160, you know, settings on your, on your. You guys are really geeky. I'd like to put it's an idea simple. to you guys. Right, so, well. You just freaked me out with a three hour render. Yeah. Is there anybody that has a th something that can render like quickly? Yeah. There's a thing called render farms. Okay. They, yeah. But they, dude, no, it. But Listen, it's a highly expensive deal. Well, it's not even that. I mean, you're you're talking price for bang for your buck. Just render it overnight, dude. Like it's, it's well, it also normal. depends what software you use. People also they don't know what codecs they're using, so they end up setting up their project in a different right. format than what they shot it on, and then you're working against yourself. Yeah, I, I see like that the, like the all frames, the time. The frames per second thing. I yes. uh, tried to help you with. See that all um, the time, but like I use Final Cut X, and I could render like a ten minute thing in under a minute. Because yeah. it, it caches the whole time, right? Um, but pre-renders the files and then just pop it out. But yeah, while that's true, now add a whole like like my um, unfortunately my uh, doc was shot almost entirely in 2K, so everything's kind of blown up. That's a little hit. Uh, there's effects everywhere. There's fucking things flying all over. That's a little hit. Any animation is going to be a hit. So for me to render 90 minutes. It takes about seven hours. Mm -hmm. Like it's ugly. So you just do it overnight. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, and I got a real. I mean, I got like thirty two megabytes of RAM. I got you know a, a whole lot of processor speed. But that's just the way it is, man. No, it was just a question. Yeah. I no. mean, in, in our hurry up society, I was just wondering if somebody had ever invented. Something oh, listen, if you have the money, you could fucking do it in. in it's no also time at pretty all. quick. It's it's pretty quick nowadays if you if you set everything up right. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Um, yeah, considering what I used to do for standard definition, holy shit, it was the same. It's oh, funny yeah. you keep we keep jumping in. I'm like, wow, it's not taking much longer. The, the everything's getting a little better. File size is a little better. I'm amazed my doc has 19, 20 gigs. It's like that's crazy. It's 4K. Yeah. That's incredible. You know what the most incredible thing is? Netflix now you can download um, you can download offline shows on your phone and iPad for Netflix. Like mm -hmm. if you're flying, yeah, yeah you yeah. can download Netflix stuff. I actually got uh, that. They yeah. use. Oh, I got that. It's one of the first. Good uses of H.265 that I've seen. Oh, right. So these file sizes are nothing. They're non-existent. If you download a movie from iTunes on your iPad, yeah. it's like four gig for right. one movie. Right. I downloaded like three seasons worth of shit, and it didn't even. And I had like six gig available on my whole iPad. Like H.265, uh, man, the files are tiny, That's and they awesome. and they look great. They, they are look squeezed great. down. Yeah. Yeah, they're getting it. That's what oh. it comes down to. All right, all that's a good segue is. into. What's up with you? Well, first of all, I'm in L.A. Yes, you are. Bam. Yeah. Thank yeah, God, yeah. because I couldn't stand another snowstorm. Yeah. What is that? It seems like white, <laughs> wet. We ain't going to do it. <laughs> we ain't going to do it. <laughs> yeah, he already did this joke. He's trying to do it again. Uh, it's not going to work. Yeah, no, man. This is this is the longest. First of all, I never came to that. First time I was ever in L.A. I know you know this. First time I was ever in L.A., I was 30. I didn't come to L.A. until I was 30, right. which is nuts. I don't know how old you are now. 35. Okay, because to him, that's like, wow, that's, that's a long that, time ago. <laughs> really? In the 80s? Yeah, been here the 80s. <laughs> it was booming then. Wow. <laughs> yeah, no, five years ago was like the first, it was, it was for back in time. My right. first trip ever to L.A., and of course you want to talk about Charm Life, I got off the plane, went right to Sony Studios, had a meeting with Adam Goldberg in the office right outside the stage where the Goldbergs were shooting, got in the car and drove to Vegas. That was my first trip to L.A. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> this L.A. place I, is yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's, it's, it's everything they show in the movies. <laughs> yeah. there's, a, there's a lot here and a lot, there's a lot That's everywhere. what we talked about on the podcast with that you took down because I apparently made you look bad. But um, the podcast <laughs> where uh, you, you had I said. I made me look bad. Yeah. Um, where, where, where we had said the um, idea of what L.A. is yeah. to people that don't live in L.A. Exactly. is so fucking skewed. You know, it just yeah. depends on how you got First off time the I plane. went to New York, it was everything I expected it to be. Yeah. Uh, New York's so small, though. Uh, Manhattan. Manhattan. Well, but it isn't. It's it's the the living quarters are, but I mean, no. uh, geographically, Manhattan. Yeah, it was sure, a twenty four miles. Sure, 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 sure. No, way less. Thirteen, thirteen by ten. Oh, I'm, right? that's right. The whole thing's from, like, from Manhattan's all the yeah, way up yeah. to Yonkers and all. I'm, that. I'm talking Manhattan proper, so right, like not from the, the island, the tip of Harlem oh, the, to the oh. to Battery Park. You know, okay, yeah. Manhattan right. proper. Yeah, gotcha. Even even the five boroughs. I mean. You know, you discount Staten say, Island. Say, say that word again. Boroughs. Boroughs. I'm from New York. Man. Do you say I say counts. Boroughs. 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 I'm from there, goddamn. Got damn your it. fucking boroughs right here. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so Staten Island doesn't count. And then, uh, Staten. And then Staten. Brooklyn. I still don't know my way around Brooklyn. I've lived there 
<laughs> I've been there 35 years. I can't, I can't figure it out it for keeps the life changing, of me. Though. It's so different. Every time I've been that back there. I know there's like there's two highways. You've got the BQE and the belt. One's on one side, one's on the other side, but everything in the middle just fucks me up. You just don't spend time there. No, exactly. I've only been through Brooklyn. I've never been to Brooklyn. I've done Queens. Obviously, Manhattan. I've even done Yonkers. Right. Yonkers outside of New- that's that's uh that's Westchester already. So. Um, um, when I say what's up with you, like this is your time to plug whatever the fuck you're doing. That's right. So, right. So that's the important part. Ahem. So yeah. I'm working on a documentary right now. It's called On Board. Right. It's a travel documentary. I just finished a trailer for it, which you saw. Mm-hmm. I'll show you later. Um, so we're in an interesting spot because we've been shooting for a year. And it is the exact opposite of how I did my last documentary, where I had money thrown at me left and right, and, right. and things were and things were easy. Yeah. Now I'm I'm funding it for myself. You're slumming it like I slummed the fastest yeah, documentary. Exactly. Lauren. It's kind of be- scary. I'm begging, borrowing, and stealing, and still trying to make it look like it's right. being done on a quarter million dollar budget. The lenses, Jesus, I always forget. That's the difference. We're talking about cameras. Yeah. Lenses make all the difference for in the sure. world. Holy shit. For sure. And, and you know, I'm shooting on high quality basically still photo lenses yeah so it's not my first shoot actually i did on cinema primes but um i was in somebody's basement it's not like you know right it's only gonna, it only gonna yeah. look like it was gonna look yeah, right right yeah. uh but yeah i mean these ca- the cameras have gotten so good i mean it's crazy when i look at just the, the shit you shot of me at golf con and in for back in time that the lens dude that we shot on it cinema looks- primes Gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, it's those just, are five thousand dollars lenses. I know. <laughs> That's what people don't get, man. It's not the sense. You know, it's anymore. nuts. You know, it's nuts. Like I work on feature films for drone stuff, so you know, for that stuff, we're shooting. We're shooting on Alexa minis. Fine. All right. All right. I get it. It's a thirty thousand dollars camera. Yeah. But then we're using like ultra primes, so you know, lenses that cost thirty thousand. You know. You obviously rent these lenses. Production, so either production provides them or yeah, nobody nobody owns this stuff. There's a sponsor. Nobody owns yeah, this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, even even the big productions, like they, they just pull these huge rentals for long periods of time. That's what costs so much money. Yeah. We had a rental house in New York that told us that they ran out of Alexas because they rented ten of them to a production. Right. So that's but yeah, you're talking about we start shooting on thirty thousand dollar lenses, or we'll be on set and we'll see you know the fifty thousand dollar, hundred thousand dollar lenses, and it's just like. That's what ama- makes it looks good. It's amazing glass. They don't even. They barely light these things. In a scene of three hundred people, it's it's because yeah. the damn, the glass looks so yeah, good. You never want to admit that your gear can change your ability to to be a good photographer, but your gear can change your ability to be a good photographer. I mean, the the amount of knowledge you don't need to know about framing and lighting and so forth is it's it's actually sickening. You know, especially for people who spent their whole lives worrying about lighting and, and understanding the little well, fuck it. You know, you get the right lenses, you can fix it all in post of you, and if you fuck it up, I'm the biggest gearhead there is. And what I've done on this documentary is figured out how to cheat what I don't have. Right. Because once you're like, all right, well, I mean, I haven't shot. I'm back in time when we shot like the big guys, like Don Fuller right. and Michael J. Fox. Wow, um, put me in that same sentence. I kind of like this guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, it is it is funny because the day that we shot you, we also shot Bob Gale. So at the time for us, that was the get. In all seriousness, yeah. at the time for us, that was it. I mean, that was as big as it was going to get. We had the writer, and we had an mayor. actor, we, and that was it. It was You're done. Like, oh that my was, god, it made it. <laughs> yeah, and we and we we shot like seven interviews that day because we brought in all of Joe Walser's team, right, like right, all right, those right, guys. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, you want to talk about filmmaking on a budget? You remember this? We got an Airbnb in Santa Monica. Oh, he doesn't remember this, actually. I was trying to remember where we did that. Oh, yeah. It was an Airbnb in Santa Monica. So it was just like a... It was a, a lofty kind of... It was weird. It was like a three-story space, but no floor was ah, big. Ah, yeah. So big, went, are, yes. So the floors were tiny. I mean, like the entire floor didn't, didn't even go to the basketball court. Right. But then you went up, and there was another floor, and you went up, and there was another floor. Yeah. So we stayed there and then shot in the living room. So how did I scout that location? On Airbnb. I went right. through. I was like... Well, that living room looks like I, I could shoot that. They had a fake fireplace in the back. You know, yeah. I was like, I can make that work. And it cost you 400 bucks or something. Like. Yeah, and, <laughs> and I found out, the other thing I found out is how cheap grip trucks are in L.A. Oh, are they? Oh, in yeah. Comparison? You can get a one-ton truck out here. First of all, people don't do it in New York because it's out here. You could have the truck. You keep it loaded. You know, you have a driveway, a house, whatever, in, in the New city. New York, the park. Yeah, yeah it's just, it's very, it's different. So they have trucks out there, but the whole rental thing is just different out there. Here, I was paying like 300 bucks for a one-ton grip truck with a guy 
You know, and the guy worked for you. Yeah, because I was be- I was begging for it, but even six hundred with the guy, and, and the truck, and he's working. That's yeah, pretty damn. Good. It's cheap. Wow. So we were set up, right? Um, like on that day, and I, so we were bringing in guys, and we had you know we were lighting perfectly. This documentary, I'm traveling with two LEDs, a crew of, uh, yeah, and I have Andrea with me who's producing, but right. like. She doesn't come from a technical background, so she could help me if I could say, hey, go do this, or make sure that yeah, shot's yeah. good, or listen to the audio. Make... But she can't. She's not, like, running lights and yeah, whatever. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just setting it all up. Two lights. I- I've shot so much in hotels. Yeah. And literally scoured the hotel lobbies. Like, well, that plant looks good. I'll take that. Give me that table. <laughs> and you just do it till they tell you to get the fuck out. They never do. Really? Yeah, dude. Airport hotels, like, they can give a shit. Like, you just act like you wow. own the place. They don't care. Yeah. So I'm decorating. That's really guerrilla filmmaking. Oh, well. yeah. So I'm grabbing stuff. But, you know, you saw the trailer. It looks fucking great. Yeah, the trailer looks the great. The footage, I mean, the footage is solid. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. So, uh, uh, shooting on Sony. Huge, right. pl- huge free plug to Sony. Right. But once I started calling, because I've been shooting flat. Like, I've been shooting log. Yeah. And explain to Don what that means. That's yeah. hard to explain. So, you can, when you shoot on, on the expensive cameras, you can shoot raw, which means that none of the data, like the color data, is really recorded. You can kind of adjust a lot of it later. You can fix it all in post. Exactly. Right. So log is the closest thing to that with having some of the data burnt in. Like the white balance is still burnt in, but you're shooting so flat. When you look at the image, it almost looks gray. It almost looks like you're shooting black and white. And then you and go in. And then in post, you go in, and you start messing right, with the right, yeah right. with the highlights and the shadows and the color and the saturation, and then kind of build the shot in post. And I've been looking at this footage for Damn, a year. Damn, man. You mean you can't just shoot it and... Edit it. You know you how can. long it takes me to make these three fucking cameras look similar? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's your yeah. fault. I mean, you're yeah. a, I know, you know, dude. I, I don't have any money. <laughs> I spent it on a fucking car. These cars blew up. These, these, these cameras came from Costco. They're pretty good. Not all of them, but some of them do. They're no, not, listen. I, I, he yeah. has what he has. He has one. He made me go buy from Costco well, because thing, I went. I was an aspiring filmmaker, yeah. and I went out and bought a drone and everything. That poor drone has been in the box yeah, since yeah, the week yeah, he got yeah. there. Well, it's better than what most people do with their drones. What they they put them in a tree. Oh, he did that too. <laughs> oh, I did that at the golf course. Yeah, this is after he fixed it. After he, he was like, I'm not gonna do this anymore. Um, but no, the nice thing about these uh, cameras is the 24P looks good. It's right. a, they have a really good fake 24P that just works. You know, um, it's a nice way to trick. You know what the best the camera here probably is? It's the one sitting right yeah. in front oh, of you on that table. Oh, I fucking know. It's the crazy. iPhone? Oh, yeah. my God, yes. Well, I've, yeah, I've seen some pretty freaky Dude. lenses Well, I mean, thing, now, man. I mean, we have, well, not even that, 4K and the exactly. Steadicam. Dude, I can hand this to anybody, and even if they're fucking like this, it comes out. Which, I use which, which model smooth. is that? Which, which version is that? 7 Plus. 7 plus. Yeah. I have, I have yeah. an app called Filmic Pro. Mm-hmm. Um, so it allows you to control the white balance, allows you to lock exposure, lock, right. Right, right. lock, um, lock focus, stuff like that. You can take it, mount it right there, yeah. and it, it's going to look great. I have an iPhone 10, like, it looks really yeah, good, especially really... during day. Now, but now, uh, 24, uh, you're not going to get 24 frames a second. Yes, can you, you absolutely are. Okay, at, at 4K? With this app, yeah. Oh, the app allows you to control the camera this settings. This fucking guy right here. This fucking it's guy. It's a $10 app. I hope you no, that's awesome. You, you, guys right pretty, you guys are pretty genius. This can, was, can we bring it down a little this bit? Was gonna, <laughs> <laughs> this was going to get pretty Don's geeky. Like, we ta- Don's like, we were talking about golf. Remember, we were this talking was, about golf. This was getting pretty geeky. Okay, so... Yeah, um, so, yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah, where, where, where are you in it? Like, are you... So, that's the thing. I need money right now. Yeah, okay. So, Don and I are going to talk after the podcast. And, uh, <laughs> I got five on it. <laughs> <laughs> Take this 10, baby. <laughs> get whatever you can, man. Get whatever you want. Yeah, uh, and that's that's we're at a really I mean you could tell from the trailer we were at a really good point to stop and say like this is what we have. Yeah. The story's in there. There's more I want to do and then post because my my philosophy with post is I could spend the next year doing it all myself. Um but a uh, I got to pay rent and that would be a problem. Hey, and also good editors are worth their weight in gold. I know that I could edit right. as far as editing it, I could edit it as well as anybody else is going to especially cuz I'm married to it. Right. Um, I need to pay for a colorist because, looking back in time. I, you know, we, I don't want to harsh on back in time. I love back in time. There, we have, there are some issues we know of. Color. See, I'm talking just color. I'm talking beautiful, color. yeah. Here they That's go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Everybody yeah. likes the damn thing. Everybody loves the damn thing. And here you guys go, well, you know, that balance was off because this 2K <laughs> was with 4K with an H.265 underneath right. it. Right. But here's the thing. The, the way you keep making movies is impress the people that know that shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah, okay. Honestly. Yeah. Like, yeah, you might have one good hit, but if you want to keep going and keep getting picked up on different things and have a career, you better fix all that. You know? It's no, it's true. It's true. Yeah. It's why the, the follow-up to the Blair Witch Project kind of sucked. Yeah. 
Um, oh, that's yeah. how that shit that works, true. man. Yeah, yeah. You know, because the, the novelty was how bad it was, but that only worked. <laughs> right, right. Oh wow, look! You how get bad one it time to do that. <laughs> yeah. We all threw that? up on the way out the first time. Yeah. Now, yeah. now fix that. Yeah. Well, and uh, for them, I mean, there were, I had so many people to believe it was real. Like there's the half of the fucking idiots that thought it was real, and that got ruined after the first. one. I mean, so, there's yeah. probably a lot of people that think the Kardashians there's are a, real there's too. There's a lot of people that think Trump's a good president. Speaking of that. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably the only political thing I'll talk about. No. Oh, we, we had to stay had to stay the union two we, days we ago. Can't, well, it's not okay. Cool, we're early. Um, oh, it was last night, right? It was so, last night. So the uh, well, this is for February. So shut up. Um, but yes, uh, <laughs> that'll be edited. Yeah. Well, no. Listen, there's clearly you have a topical uh, podcast. You better do it weekly. But right. Hey, don't look at your eyes and roll your eyes at me. You're always working on DeLoreans and rendering shit. I always make time for this shit. You ain't going to come here. Wow, I live around the corner. Yeah, wouldn't you think you'd fucking answer the phone? Uh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I show up here once a month. Yeah, shit. (laughs) (laughs) So, there are three people sitting at the bar right now who all voted for different people in 2016. Oh, that's hysterical. And I think that there's I'm no way... Wait, 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 wait. Who did the third person vote for? <laughs> I know who he voted for. I know who I voted for. Well, I, I want to know who you voted for, because I know who I voted for and who he voted for. All you got to do is go online to my Facebook page, and it says, Goldie Wilson for president. <laughs> That's voted great. For fucking oh, I wrote in for myself. I should have done that. Yeah. But did you write in for yourself or for Goldie Wilson? Mayor Goldie Wilson. Right. Let me see. I've been looking. You guys talk. I'm yeah, gonna look I'll, for a we'll insert it. Um, <laughs> you took a picture in the booth. Oh yeah. I think that's a crime. I don't know if we're allowed to post no. that. It is actually a crime, but who cares? I did. I didn't post it. Yeah, you oh did. no! You I mean, I've always Facebook. listen. I've always posted <laughs> that shit. Um, I took a picture too, but oh, and, and posted it. Did you really? Yeah. It, very close up, just the ballot itself. Oh, you didn't post who you voted for. Correct. Before oh. I voted. All right. But it, I, um, I think I think the crime is, is to take is, the picture is, in the booth. This is starting to get weird. Okay, I'm gonna try not to uh, listen. Now we, I'm talking about statute of limitations. We we um. I saw a crazy documentary today. We gotta get into that. Uh, we oh, what's the name? The Voyeur documentary. Uh, uh, I don't yes. know what they called it. The hotel. Yes, I think it's called Voyeurism. Fuck that reporter and oh, being wow. totally cool with that shit. Okay, we can't do it. This will take 20 minutes. That documentary blew my mind. He went yes. to a sex cult. I, yeah, That's the same guy. Right. It's, it's, it's really... That and whole, had sex with everybody. Yeah. He justified it. Yeah. To his wife yeah. and two daughters. And the I guy was lying. No you're yeah, yeah, you're yeah. upset that he went to a, to a hotel for a no, night? No, no. What I'm saying is is that he didn't turn... I mean, eventually turn the guy in for doing something illegal. It's not illegal to go to a sex cult. It's illegal to fucking... Watch build, somebody die? He, well, I mean, all of that. All that. See, he was full of shit. The guy was probably lying about all that shit. But my point Weird is... story. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, we got to get off that. Um... I, I bring this up for one Trump? reason. Uh, I don't. If if there's anything that we say that you don't want out, please let me know. Because <laughs> I felt really bad because I did your podcast. Oh. I posted it, and then you were like, "Yeah, I don't want that out because I look like a moron." I don't mind that it's out. I did. See, the interesting thing is, I didn't look like a moron. I thought all the people commenting looked like morons, but of course, I'm going to defend myself. Anybody in the world right. who can comment on something. This Without, is starting to sound a lot like you voted for Donald Trump. Oh, he I did, did vote I did. for Donald Trump. I voted for Hillary, he voted for Goldie, he voted for Donald Trump, and there we go. Anybody in the world who could comment on anything, and comment on, specifically on the person's, uh, I mean, basically the person called me a fucking asshole. Yeah, so I don't, totally. I, don't need to, I don't need to describe it, let's just put it out there. Oh, I was called a fucking asshole by somebody who did not listen to what I said, Right. did not make any attempt to understand anything about me, but because of who I voted for in a presidential race. By the way, I mean, that means there's a lot of fucking assholes in the United States. That is very true, no matter what. But, um, <laughs> so, I think that, I think anyone who could do that is part of the problem. What I didn't realize is just how toxic things get and fast. Well, always, yeah. but, listen, politics Rapid. always has some toxicity to it. And oh, yeah. that's understandable. Right. True. The issue with Trump, however, is if you're a student of politics, the idea of Trump was so not realistic and so ridiculous that he shouldn't have even been able to get the nomination, let alone anybody think that that was a reasonable choice. So right yeah, off the bat, a reasonable choice. right. So right off the bat, the fact that anybody would somehow have their news sources so wabber jockeyed that they were like, "Oh, fucking Donald Trump is 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 him holy Christ!" <laughs> right. That's the concern. Now I also know that. What you believe about Hillary Clinton 
made it a far more gray situation. Yes. And I could sit here and argue with you point after point after point about that maybe what you think about Hillary was skewed and what you thought about Trump was skewed. But I'll let you answer I thought, what you thought. So I thought that Donald Trump wasn't going to be a good president, but wouldn't get us blown up. That remains to be seen. We'll find out. We'll find out. Wow. Talk, talk about a roll of the dice, dog. But go ahead. Yeah, that's. Right. That, I, I mean, mean, that was. But that was my bar. Right? That was okay. literally. That was literally my bar. Right. That he won't be bad enough for North Korea to to blow the place up. Right. I was just hoping we that wouldn't happen. Cause that would right. be bad. I, I mean, I wouldn't uh, have voted for him if I thought that. Right. And then maybe he'd do one or two of the things that he promised. Right. Business wise. Correct. Right. And get the country into a stable, more stable uh, place. Economically. Economically. Okay. And, and things like health care and stuff like that. I was, mm. I, you had a big mm. issue with health care. Yeah, right? I was yeah, not, right. I was not a, I'm not, I've never been a huge you know fan what? of Obamacare. Right, you can give me one second on this guy. One second. Just let me throw it at you and then I'm going to throw it to flesh. So that was, so that was, that was, that was my bar. And I'm fairly certain you couldn't be any more LA right now, Don, <laughs> than if you sat there and scrolled through your fucking Facebook feed during... <laughs> The video. Are you oh, that's what that's what I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm looking Stop. for my ballot, dude. I can put that up later. That's what post means. Do you just want to see it? To no, feel oh, you good want to about post yourself? it? That what you said? No, I'm saying I'll see it later. It's okay. You can participate. He'll put. You, he'll put the graph yeah. again. Don't the you whole thing. use those fucking tones with me? <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. So, so my my thing is is that what on earth made you think that Hillary was so awful? That I mean, wh- what was bad about it? What was your what was your point about Hillary that you thought wasn't going to be good? Twisted politician. Twisted. All the stuff at the Clinton Foundation didn't look Could good. Could there be anything more dirty than the Trump fa- the Trump school? Like, are you shitting me? You're from New York. The, you think you think that dude? The has- false equivalency here is so, so insane. I, I'll tell you what I said about Trump. I said this to you at the time. Trump, you know what you're getting. I th- everything's on the table. You don't think everything's on? It's all no, on you're the table. right. You're one. It's all on the table. It's not good. I'm not defending it. Right. I'm just saying, I know what he is. Grab her by the pussy. Didn't surprise. That surprised anybody. Right. Did that surprise you? Well, no. No, I have no issue with Trump. I have an issue with the electric that thought that was a good idea. I, I mean, Trump's I always thought, been. Trump. I was like, uh huh. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know, I know people personally that work for him. That work for his high level. Right. People. It's, you know what he is. So I knew exactly what I was voting for. Hillary, I didn't quite know. I thought she was kind of wrapped up in it. Been in the political circle for way too long because because right. of you know her husband. Right, 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 right. And it was just man, this is dirty. I feel like this is gonna be dirty. Po- I, I just felt like she was lying to you every the time. The irony she that you thought that would be dirty. Like, and listen, I get it. As a candidate, I can't stand her. Like, she would come on the TV and I'd be like, oh god, because I didn't feel anything was genuine ever. And also, her political I mean, her own words, her political stance has changed a lot yeah, over the that, years. That doesn't bother me. At the end of the day, I care about things that are beyond, you know, my white maleness, right? I really do. Like, I have a wife oh, and a daughter and all that. Yeah, kind of I, I do too. All right, so it's. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. Mr. Goldie, I'm sorry, we're, we're stepping on you. You are no, the. No, you weren't the, stepping on me at all. Yeah. I, you know, I, I, man, it's like this, dude. Like you said, you knew what you're getting. Yeah, I, I was amazed that he won. As a New Yorker, you had a different perspective of him. I, and I knew who he was, and it just blows me away that it's still the office of the presidency. Do what the hell you're going to do, but man, it's, it's got no decorum. There's no gravitas. It's like the Kardashian reality agreed. show. Agreed. Totally man. agreed. But that's the world we live in. It makes us look like crazy. And speaking on health care, we talk about all these shithole countries and all these other nations that we love, that we want their people to come to. Those countries have socialized medicine. That me- everyone is healthy. In our country, you cannot monetize or capitalize health. Yeah, it You can't work. do it. Yeah. So I'm done. No, and and you know the, the issues you had, you had with Obamacare was the compromise Obamacare became because the Republicans it don't want socialized care. right in, uh, healthcare. So your idea that you're just going to get rid of it, which was what Trump wants to do, is not good. It's easy to fix it. It's impossible to get rid of it and start over. It took 60 years to even get to that. So now he takes out the individual mandate. It's like, okay, well, we're done. It's over. It doesn't matter. We're starting all over again. We're never going to have a health care well, system. Well, you saw, you saw today's announcement. But I won't say that Amazon I hate you. now. Yeah, dude. Three hundred billion was it? I mean, great. You know, I, I, but that's what I said to you last time we talked about it. That maybe we'll get to a place where, if it's not going to be socialized, which 
who would dis anyone who, do who just doesn't know better if yeah. you do if you disagree that socialize is the best way but if it's not going to be right. at least make it competitive D the situation that we used to have where it was locked into the states so you had a tiny number of companies yeah, yeah, yeah. competing with each yeah. other that's kind of stupid was, that was horrible you should go that was horrible state cross state lines if it's going to be let it be like any listen uh, insurance capitalism com capitalism does work Right, okay. Insur insurance companies in general, it's bullshit. They need to be removed. There's, but the, there's such a huge lobby. There's no way around it. So let's make it as close to truly capitalistic as we can. So at least you feel like you're getting what you're paying for, and it becomes competitively priced. But then, in as some a, way, shape, or form. Right. But then, as a business model, now you've got this person here who has stage one cancer, and you got this person here who has the flu. You're going to invest the money on in the flu person, and this guy, you're going to, you're going to kick the kick to. Well, the that's court where I feel like the cut. government. Uh, that's why I like things like not being able to be denied because of right, pre-existing right. conditions right. and stuff. I agree it should be socialized. I agree. But if it's not going to be, what's the next best thing? And we haven't had that for a long time. Yeah. Long yeah. time. Well, ever. I mean, really. I mean, that's not even... It just used to be cheaper. Yeah, it was just cheaper. You yeah. had, like, your doctor would come to your house and charge you five bucks you know what else changed? an ice cream cone. You know what else changed hugely? And I, I, I mean, I don't follow the conversation that closely, but I feel like I never hear this talked about. People's jobs changed. So many more people work for themselves nowadays, or they work in small startups. Back in the day, yeah, manufacturing. Dude. Back when, back when Don thought I was here in the '80s, right? Yeah, dude, you could leave high. You could leave high school and get a great job, right? right and right. that's the thing: your job was paying for it. So who cares what it costs? Because yeah. you're getting it through your work, and everybody, everybody yeah. had a, a job. Everybody right. worked somewhere. Yeah. So it just wasn't an issue. Well, that crossover from like the '90s to the 2000s. Well, and the shift that's going to have to happen. I'm glad some countries are starting it. There, there is no way with technology and robots and so forth universal basic income there's no way around it you are going to have to provide a basic income for the people that lost all their job listen the whole idea of the future was going to be how oh, robots are going to help us out they're going to do everything for us so guess what have the corporations pay a little bit of a tax to have the better efficient robots and have that go to universal basic income so people can at least have a fucking roof over their head we have if welfare. they can't work right but i mean make you're going to have to make a welfare <laughs> sips no but i mean it's got to be Listen, the way welfare works now, it's only for five fucking years, and you can only do, you have to be looking for a job. You know what I mean? There's all these limitations, but at the end of the day... I mean, it's not a bad idea to tell people to get a job. No, but what I'm saying is in 50 years, people aren't going to... Un Undereducated people that literally can't... Listen, some people can never be more than a janitor, and they are not going to be able to exist in 2050. They won't be well, able we're to a, exist. We're in a crossover period, too. Because yeah, we're bringing back beautiful, clean coal. Yeah. No, but uh, yeah. <laughs> when the boomers die out... Right yeah. when the boomer when the boomers die out, yeah. <laughs> you could live, you could stay. Yeah. You're allowed. No. But what's going to happen is everybody's going to have grown up. My five year old knows how to use a cell phone. You know what I'm saying? So everyone, the workforce is going to have grown up in the technology age. The, the, when you say people are only going to be able to be janitors, I don't really believe that. No, what I'm saying is that the people that could, there were so many people that could sit at a factory line and make a you know a those jobs shit. will just be different uh, but I'm, i i think those jobs no matter what are going to go to for like trucking there's no there will be no trucking industry yeah, in 2050 Musk. right but i mean that's 2050 20 2020 right but i i'm saying <laughs> your package will be there in yeah. 10 <laughs> 9 <laughs> there's you no get a tesla truck <laughs> into right. it like go like this while it drives you across the country we now we basically have a an alien workforce that will take half of the low-income jobs. It just will. That alien workforce is a robot. So there's only one thing you can I thought do. You're talking about the illegal alien workforce. No, but that takes half but, the jobs. But no, that <laughs> right. But that's how we have to think of it. We have to think about those robots as actual people that are coming in, and there's no way to stop it. It's never going to happen. You're never going to stop technology. Nope. So you might as well work out some sort of distribution of the wealth. To at least allow people to have a fucking apartment. Technology I agree, but I've also up. I've also never had a problem. I was gonna say technology. Look at the size right, right, of this right, right. mic. Right. Okay, but go ahead. Mike with a hard drive in it, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've never had a problem with the guy in front of Home Depot who took jobs either. Right. I, I didn't have a problem with it because I was ready okay. to I was I was the first one ready to pay. Jay, it. let me let me tell you something. He probably has a problem with it. Just letting you know. He like, himself? Yeah. You know, working ten dollars an hour hoping and sitting next to a Home Depot is probably not a real good way to raise a fucking family. No. And if you take all the jobs he could have gotten on a factory line, if you're a government that gives a shit about your electorate, you might want to take care of those people. We have the money, we have the means, it's a couple different regulations well, that guy and everybody's of, taking care of. That guy in front of Home Depot is not here legally, so well, but not, not, I mean shit, job. honestly some uh, of them uh, are. Uh, believe uh, it or not. A term comes to mind. Um, feudalism. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, we can't have that. There's no reason to have that, though. There's no reason to go that route. We have the ability and the... We just need the will and the and the, the politicians to realize what the future is coming. That, that was what was frustrating about, about the election to me. Hillary was being very honest. As much as she annoyed me, she goes... <laughs> That won't come back. We're not, it's not going to happen. There's no way we can do this. Education is the key. You have to get re-educated. You have to go into a different field. Trump said, I'll bring all the coal jobs back, and he won. It's like, come on, man. He didn't man. say he was, he was going to bring the coal job. He's going to bring manufacturing yeah, back. He was just He's going to bring right. manufacturing back from Malaysia where they make $3 an yeah, hour yeah. and get a living wage in America. Sure. Right? Yeah, it's that's, also impossible. That's been proven impossible yeah, forever. Right, that's they, my point. They tax one country. They just... Diverted yeah, it from another country, yeah. I mean, that doesn't work. Right, so the reality, Hillary was a little more aware of that reality. Clinton said it. Clinton said it during NAFTA. Clinton said, listen, this is we're in a globalized, this is changing. It's 20 years after that. It's even more that, more changed. So Trump was, he was just saying whatever the fuck mattered. He couldn't have done any of those How things. How do you feel he's, now? I mean, yeah, oh, no, I, I mean. Now. Do you have any regrets? Do you wish you just hadn't voted? Yeah. I, you should yeah. have voted for Goldie Wilson. Exactly. <laughs> You'd have doubled your fucking votes, dog. Yeah, if anyone who saw me that day, I literally just said, I know I picked the winner. Like, I felt like I just, like, it was like gambling. Oh, you were handicapping. Like, yeah, yeah, like, I felt like I was in a casino, like, betting on the Bulls game that night. Like, I was like, wow. yeah, I know I just picked the winner. That was it. Because I. Because I wasn't excited about voting. I knew I was doing my civic duty. I wasn't excited about voting for Hillary, but I That's knew what I'm that saying. That was... I wasn't excited about voting for... I wasn't going to be excited about voting for anybody. He's a New Yorker. So I figured I might as well just pick the winner. New York. And, and I felt like I was smart enough because I'm from New York, so nobody right. had, <laughs> nobody voted from there. Yeah. You know, he wasn't going to win that state. Right. That's true. So, yeah, that's so, true. So, and also, I mean, I'm in the creative field. So everyone I know, everybody in my circle is voting for Hillary. Right, right, so right. I just felt like the outcast who knew I picked the winner... It was a weird. It was a weird thing, man. It I was a weird thing. I should have made some really odd conversations around November the eighth. Uh, yeah, no, it did. It did. It was like I, I'm right, you're wrong, but like that, be, that's that's how little. And it was very conscious. That's how little I wanted to vote for either of them. That at least I said. You also must not have respected the. You didn't have any reverence for uh, the idea of president to begin with. You couldn't have had too no, much. No, it's no. I see. That's because actually not well. What Obama symbolized to me was so much more than a fucking agenda. Some of the stuff I didn't agree with. He's the only one, though, because I'm a, I'm a cynist, too. Be because of my age, I mean, the presidents that I've grown up with, Clinton's really... I remember H.W., but I was very young. Like wow. very, That was grade school for me. Yeah. Every president since H.W., you had a guy getting blowjobs in the office, right. a guy who was in bed with the Middle East with the, with the yeah. oil. Right. Obama changed all that. Right. So, when you talk about reverence for the office of the presidency, when I see the pictures of the guys with the beards, I mean, those are just pictures. Yeah. Because I grew up in the... the I'm like the most possible sinist age that you could be to yeah. respect the presidency. The yeah, very first president that I ever in my lifetime oh, was named Dwight David Eisenhower. Exactly. I didn't have Where that. Where are you going? I have to make a call. Okay. In the middle of the show. I'll be back. <laughs> are you okay? Okay. I guys getting blowjobs in the office. How am I supposed to respect the presidency? Okay, uh, I'm dying to hear what this fucking phone call is. Should be good. I can't believe he stopped in the middle of the fucking podcast. Dude, my grandfather's literally dying, and I haven't stopped. <laughs> hey man, are you whispering about me, man? You know, I'm. I, I, you're around tomorrow daytime. Um, Don't you be whispering about me, bitch. Well, no, I. It's. Yeah. Whisper, 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 whisper. Um, I, listen, I, I totally get that. I, I, right. I hear what you're saying, but after Obama and having an ideal of what a statesman should be or what it means, and I, I listen, I didn't like Hillary either, but how could, I mean, fucking man, we're talking a, a, a mirror there's shift. Also, of, there's also a lot of things to say about Obama becoming president. I think it made the country more racist than it's ever been. Sure. So I didn't like that. Well, so, mean, that, so that became less about him and more about where we were as a country. So you just picked a white supremacist because, well, you know, at least oh, it balances out. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like... Um, no, it's just seeing how good... Even though he did a good job... He did all he, he could, it didn't matter. He got locked. Constantly. Exactly. You so, thought more would actually so happen. Then it's, so the, I was just looking at the picture then. Like yeah. The picture of, of the country at that point is like, we're more racist than ever. People voted for Obama not having a goddamn clue right. what they were what they were voting for. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I mean, no clue. He told you. 
I mean, I don't know. What do you say? But he nobody was, was listening. He said, he told you, he said he was going to fundamentally change <laughs> the United States of America. Well, he tried. They just blocked him. Out of yeah, everything. And it's amazing to me now that because they can't get any help, they're like, well, you're just being, uh, what is it, obstructionist. Right. Like we just went through eight years of you doing the same thing. Yeah, do and you, you have the Do whole you remember those videos, though, when he was running, both times, where they'd take, like, McCain statements yeah. and read them? to black people and say Obama said this and they'd be like uh, yeah I like that I'm over him right right right, right. And oh, no I didn't know that oh yeah oh, well, there are you could do that to everybody there's always you gonna could, be a you, it, it, but it just shows you people don't know what they're voting but for but some people you know it's just like all Trump well, no, supporters are fucking though. idiots that don't know what they're there's talking about there's not a very right? so that's, that's the system's broken I mean the system right. is complete so forget what's going on in the government yeah, yeah. the system of electing the president is broken the Electoral College is a joke. Makes no sense. It is a complete, absolute I joke. I disagree. I, uh, I think the rural areas areas should have just as much of a voice as the city areas. And if you have no electoral, maybe the numbers numbers are off a little bit. numbers is numbers. Well, I, I hear if you, you if you got the numbers in the little places and the big places, you win. Right. If but, you don't have the numbers, but this time the Rust Belt said "fuck you, Hillary," and it mattered. Yeah, but this, but that, wait, wait, it has it ever happened before? Yes. That, yeah. That, that they've lost the yeah, popular 2000. vote. Yeah. Yes. Jesus. It was Christ. George Bush. Never politics ever? George well, yeah. Bush. You know. <laughs> it was the 21st century, brother. Think yeah. that. <laughs> but, well, that answers so, so all those you, questions. What, so, what do you for consider? You. you consider a millennial? Mm, or Gen yes. X? Yes. Or what? I'm um, like it? in between. Yeah. I'm like a really old millennial or or uh, the end of. A Gen X. Gen well, X. Gen X. I was born yeah. in 75, and I'm barely end of Gen X. There's like that middle thing they have now. See, I didn't grow. Like, when you look back on it, I'll never be a millennial because I didn't grow up with the technology that millennials grew up with. I was a technological person who was always ahead of the curve right. on like playing five and a quarter inch floppy disk yeah, yeah, computer yeah. games. Yeah. No, that's me so too. that's I didn't grow oh, up. In, I didn't grow up with Snapchat, you know. And yeah. and when you look back on it, that's what that generation is going to be defined. Snapchat, what's yeah. that? Yeah, exactly. no, I just had to do that. I had to do that, dude. Uh, I ain't, yeah, I'm uh, hip. I'm hip. Uh, yeah. You got Snapchat on there? Yeah. On here? Yeah. Yeah. Man. I, I don't have Snapchat. I don't even have Snapchat. I don't have Snapchat. Oh, yeah, I got Snapchat. Now ask me how to use it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it means. I figured out the. I just here's the thing. I just figured out the DM part. I just didn't want to put cute rabbit noses and ears on. I just didn't feel like doing that. That's know? not what it's for, man. It's, it's not naked selfies. Man, let me delete this. Oh, okay. speaking of naked self, we're going to end with this. This is what we're going to end with. Right. Um, we're already up to the end? I thought we were just getting started. Yeah, sorry. We're already an hour. I don't want to fucking keep editing this, dude. I've, I've edited enough lately. Um, <laughs> um, well, at least for our cutting off point. So, um, so Jay told me that no one really needs a Magnum. I did. A Magnum what? Condom. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the reaction we were hoping for. <laughs> What the fuck was that, dude? I couldn't believe you wrote that, and then I was like, "Oh, he because he was." T- <laughs> I've never met a white guy that's he was really t- needed. I mean, he was texting me that he needed to. He's gonna grab an Uber and be over. I don't know said- how. I, somehow, my computer auto corrected Uber to Magnum. No, okay? to run out of rubber. Oh, to rubber. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "I'm gonna grab a rubber and come over." And I said, "First of all, he was going like, I didn't know." Right. That. So I said, "Be sure to bring." Oh, a- this is a text. Yes. Right, I texted right, him. Right, I said, right, right, "I'm right. gonna grab a rubber and come right over," right. which was say Uber. Right. And then he goes, "Bring me a Magnum and come over." I said, right. I said "Nobody sure really needs a Magnum." And then I went. Oh, yes. Uh, we'll talk about that on the podcast. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what Don has to say about it. I have a funny story about Magnums, by the way. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's, it's every day of your life. But for me... Um, the gold one or the black one? Uh, it's gold. You, yeah, you gold have right seen here. how they blow up just the regular size ones and how big they get, no, no, right? Here, here's, here's how this works. When I was a kid, I was 16, 17, 80, what about uh, hated condoms? You know, I was like, oh, this is so uncomfortable. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm like 19, 20, 21. That's why that I got era. married when I was 21. I know. I hear. I got married when I was 21 and divorced <laughs> when I was 21. It's, it's just a hell of a story. I waited too long for my divorce. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, and you done? How long were you married, by the way? Just curious. I was married. Ooh, shit. 17 years. 17 wow. years. That's a yeah. long time. Wow. Fuck, I'm already like 17. Almost made it. Beat. Almost made it to the finish line. Uh, like the 90? Like finish? Like what's like, the finish line? How old were you? 20 and then everybody gets divorced anyway? Uh, nothing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> is it, isn't 20 years to cut off? Yeah, I thought I got it. past the seven year itch. Right, yeah. <laughs> how, how old were you? When I got married? Yeah. 30. Until 47? That's weird. No, nah, it's life. Don't you just, don't you just kind of no, like no, fuck no, at no, that no. point? Yeah, trust me, there's a whole nother... 
whole other dynamic. Yeah, whole dynamic. <laughs> um, but no, so when I was a kid, I didn't like him, blah, blah. I, I, I date this girl, and I'm having tr- trouble, and she's like, I really want you to wear a con- condom. And uh, she she goes, hang on a second. She gets in her fucking car. She goes, and she gets a magnum, and she gives it to me. And I'm like, oh, that's what they're for. I don't know how else to say it, but the little ones don't fucking fit. They're too tight. And suddenly you put it on, you're like, oh, this is... Ac-. I mean, it's not as good as nothing. All of but a sudden, it becomes comfortable. Now it's like, oh, shit, this works. This is good. So, yes, some people have bigger dicks, Jay. And just that's just and the way And those little ones just strangle your you, cock. You, you can't do it. Like, it's literally I just took an Ancestry.com DNA test, and it came back 97% European Jewish. Yeah, okay. What do you think is going on? Right, exactly. Well, it's like my lawyer. He says he, 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 he <laughs> suffers from this disease called small cocks. <laughs> <laughs> small cocks. <laughs> Well, and by also, the way, I do not have a. T- I mean, no, it's. It, I mean, but, it's but, fine. It's all right. Wait, wait, look here, Trump. Here's the Woody Allen. Hands. It's not going to win let any me, award. Let me see your hands, Trump. <laughs> you I'm not getting hands. I got no complaints. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. And, and the and the addendum to this story is, it's not always better. Trust me. If I take all of my sexual experiences I've and heard divvy that. them up, I've heard, yeah, it, it, being you, bigger does not. It does not good. It, almost, I'd say over half the time, it's an issue, and you have to do things differently than you would yes. normally do it. Right. So it's not exactly like, yay, I'm real excited about it. But the moment I knew they existed, never expected this. Concept. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I no, <laughs> but no. The moment I knew they existed, I was like, oh, thank the fuck Christ, because I really thought this is what condoms are for people. Holy shit! No, no wonder nobody ever wants to wear them. It, it like it's it hurts. It was actually painful. Where, where, for me. Where did, oh, that's right, Columbus. Never oh, mind. I, I didn't know, but that bitch knew. She got in the fucking car. She's like, oh, she's back in five minutes. Here you go. Let's do it. And I'm like, whoa, okay then. Um, I've honestly had such limited experiences with condoms funny. in general. Oh, wow. Well, limited. You know, it is what it is. Um, God, we need lucky. You know, fuck it. I'll, we'll go into overtime because we yeah. haven't even talked about... <laughs> Over it's time the, with Flash and the Fundamentals. Yeah, the story that still won't die. New What's segment, the OT. Aziz and sorry. Oh, it, there's more? It keeps going. Well, no, I mean, there was the SNL bit last week. and I mean, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. still... SNL is kind of like on his side, though. How well, they, not be? They, well, well, you know, here's, here's what I want to add to all this, because I have a, a close female friend. And, I mean, a close Facebook female friend. Um, I met her once, but we were on Facebook for, like, past 10 years, and she's always been incredibly intelligent and always, uh, you know... Um, Participated, and she actually was against Ansari and had some pretty good points about what it feels like to be a woman. And we are very male here, and we are. I, I will. I will have to say two magnums at the table. Right. Yes. <laughs> I will have to say <laughs> that there's. <laughs> don't break the table. Don't, don't let me whip it out. Oh shit! Not yeah. Boom. <laughs> Don's probably got me beat. I'll be honest. You know. Um, but what what she said that made a lot of sense, and I you know. We underestimate what it feels like to be a woman, and um, Aziz should have had a bit more wherewithal to what she was feeling. And I, I gotta say, listen, you're the one that told me he's probably a little young and unsophisticated. Right, but he's 35. He's been he's been he's been famous for 10 years. Enough. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, true. true Sorry. That. Yeah, no, I, mean, no, I get that. that but even famous, yeah, fuck off. But my my point <laughs> is is that. As much as I want to give him the benefit of the doubt, and I do, I don't think it was assault, harassment at all, I, I think that he should have had a bit more wherewithal that she was uncomfortable. And you and I were talking about the, you had experience when you were 17 or whatever, yeah. and I was talking about how, if if I went down on a woman... I don't understand how you're uncomfortable letting wait, that wait, happen. That no, 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 that's I, not I, what I'm saying. I've, I, I've been in situations where I went down on a woman, and as I'm older, I know that if you do it right... She's like, put it in me fucking now. Right? Okay? I'm like, going gonna to agree from okay. what I've heard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, now, when I was younger, you think that's what's going to happen, and maybe you're not doing right, or something's wrong, and you do that, and she doesn't want to have sex, something's up. You either did it wrong. You either did it wrong, or she's not that into you, and maybe you should lay off a little bit. That's where I have an issue with Aziz continually pushing, continually pushing. I continually haven't read pushing. the article in a few weeks, but... Where did she say at any point that she expressed any? I, I understand that when she, she re, when she wrote the article. No, here's what she expressed. Retelling it. the story, they, she said that they stopped, that they didn't have sex. She expressed before. She expressed before this. No, when she came in, he he said they were literally kissing next to the counter, and he um, 
he made the comment. Do you want me to fuck you here or whatever? Yeah, and what can I get economy? She and he's like, she's like, whoa, hey, like too fat, we, right? But that, that, that was it. just that was right. That was so un- finesse, right? Right. So so he went down on her, and she still didn't want to have sex. Right. But then they go back to the couch. They start doing whatever again. Right, right, right. The second blow job. Then they end up by the mirror. No, listen, I agree. I mean, I'm not a random. I agree. They end up by the mirror, and then and then she <laughs> says, then he says, like, let's do it right here or whatever. I don't remember the exact right. wording. She says no there. We, we we remember so much about this night. She, however, it's funny. <laughs> she says no there the second time, right? And he, and they stop. But, so, listen, I've had girls. I've been in situations where things progress over the night, and that right. doesn't mean that she's not necessarily interested. It means like she let's take wants- it a little slower. I mean, she wanted to be romance. She wanted right, exactly. Right. I've, I've been, and that's and that is what it was. What's funny is I've had, I've always had the assumption. Maybe I've never, I've never had anybody stop me, and not just immediately go, "Okay, fuck, I'm sorry," and I then blow it off. I would never keep going. That I've is never, my personality. Right, type. First of all, I've never been in that exact situation either. Yeah. Well, so, I, 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 it's it's hard to know what to make of it. But again, she had the freedom to write whatever she I know, wanted. I go. And at and no he, point said like. At no point said I don't want to do this anymore. She gave another fucking blowjob. I don't. I don't, I mean, right. I don't see how. Jobs, I don't dude. see how the people are. are upset. And listen, I, I don't get it. I mean, with all the hardcore stuff going on. Oh no, I know. I dude's know. thing was like. But they're trying to make a progressive play at. Listen, we want to make our society the way we want to make it, and these guys need to know more. Well, and new, and new, and new topic. What? Scott Bayo. Oh. Yeah, I just heard about that this morning. Uh, it's new. It's fresh. It just happened yeah, this yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, did you watch his video? Yes, kind of I funny. watched the whole thing. I watched the entire. I watched thing. the entire it's so thing. Bad, and it's By just the way, so funny. at what point did you want to slap his wife? Uh, it was not okay. I can't answer that. That's a little loaded. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, for you had to be thinking the same thing, dude. Just like put the camera up a little higher, a little light. Like why do? Why would you do it? It, it was very. Awesome. It was a very awkward. So wait, 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 scene. wait. So I don't know what's happening. Dude. All right. So let's run it down. For, for our viewers. Yeah, let's go. Uh, Nicole Eggert has been claiming for years. Eggert. Eggert. Yes. That um. Well, she did have sex with Scott Bayo. That right. is not a that that point right. is on when the table. She was underage or adult. Right so, about the she. It's right like seventeen, eighteen. Right. So course, underage to adult. Right. So mm-hmm. Scott. So um, lately she's been coming hard. She has some reality shows. She now claims that he fingered her in the garage when she was like fourteen. Right. Highly underage. Right. And this he was twenty four, twenty six. Yeah. Something so like this that. went on for a while, um, yeah. and th- these are the claims now that she's making now. Scott Bayo puts out a 15-minute uh, video. It was a Facebook Live video that he claimed he did on Facebook Live so that nobody could edit what he had to say. Right. Now, the problem is there was one editor, his wife, who was in the room, not on camera, who kept piping in, like, every 30 seconds. Uh, no, Scott, tell him that! No, I mean, like, I would not want to be... Like, Scott <laughs> Bayo is... I mean, he's got a noose around his balls. So he's pretty, okay? he's pretty hen-picked. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> So he, <laughs> let's talk about the content. So he gets on camera and he basically explains during this video why Nicole Eggert cannot possibly be right about her claims. First, he brings up an interview that she gave right. where she claims that he's a very nice guy and she'd love to work with him again. This is all recent stuff. All right. um, so it makes it first lays the groundwork for why it's weird that she's saying now that he was a pedophile when unsolicited on other shows not in front of him recently she says he's a great guy but then what he does is he catches her in a uh, a fact proven lie about when they had sex because she went on a radio show says she lost her virginity to Scott Baio after the show after the show had stopped filming and she would have been like 19 19 maybe maybe even 20 yeah right so he has Essentially, evidence from the horse's mouth. Because, and he said, she said, it's the best you're going to get. But right. from the horse's mouth that they had sex after. Now, my one problem with the video, there's which I was watching few, with my girlfriend. There's quite a few problems. I mean, aside from the wife. I'll, I'll give you one. The wife is awesome. Yeah, yeah. The one issue with it is that he never denied the claims yeah. once. Right. Did, like, yeah, 15 he just, minutes, just say, I didn't do that. And right. he didn't do that right. at all. Listen. What he, he did is he, he twisted the story to point everything towards the evidence that he had. The evidence that he had said that he had sex with her right, right. when she was an adult. I think he is, isn't really un- aware that it is still illegal to finger a 14-year-old even if you didn't have sex with her. He, and I don't think he caught didn't that. go there. Didn't touch that. What he what he, what he did is he used it a made piece... smart. <laughs> he used right. a piece of factual evidence that he had sex right. with her when she was an adult, used the fact that she had no problem with him right. 
in general in life to put those two pieces of but then everybody, together to say but, but there shouldn't every, be a problem here. Ev- all of them are doing that now. Well, you know, and, because and, and, the people that were in position of power over them and so on and so forth, you know? Well, but she was a mind. I mean, she here, was a here's big the, time mind. But, but here, yeah. here's the he thing. Just, he just didn't say, I didn't finger her in the garage. Right, and right, that's that's right. kind of what's at issue oh, wow. here. Here's, the, but here's the, the bigger issue. A whole bunch of things can be true at the same time. Exactly. Okay? Right. And I think that's what we always make a mistake of. We Oh, you caught, we caught her in one lie, so that means all of it are... And that's what he's at, trying to do. And she was nice to me afterwards, therefore, listen, I know 14-year-old girls that think they can legally consent to sexual activity. Right. And you know what? A hundred years ago, they could. And 20 years goes by, and it's... Right. And you're eventually right. allowed to come to your own... Feeling that maybe I was a little pressured by the star of Charles and Charles. Or maybe exactly. he should have known better. Of course. He's and not done this with me. Right. Now, the problem that's working against her is... She's a train wreck. Yeah. Oh. She's I actually a walking, know her sister. Is there a little? Is there a little? I gotta, I gotta bow out of some of these things because her sister's awesome. And um, yeah, I, I mean, not about what well, you get uncomfortable for. Well, no, no, no. I'm just saying is that it's it's people I know that I don't. I mean, train wreck is harsh. She's a train wreck in that you could say that she's doing this for attention. Yeah, I'll give you that. I can okay. absolutely say that. But she's um, falling off the wagon, of and yeah, yeah, oh, there I she thought had it was the, substance yeah. abuse. Well, she's and then she gained a lot of weight, and now she lost a lot of weight, and I mean, she's not in but a good that's spot. Still, but that still has nothing to do with the fact that correct. Most likely, it happened. Yes. I, I have no, I have no reason to believe it didn't. Most likely, she totally consented to it at the time. I mean, I, and this I is the other say, thing I have a huge issue with. And we, before we end this, I gotta say this: pedophilia is sex with someone prepubescent. That is what it means, like under 10. That is what pedophilia is. Right. Everything after you go through puberty... Is sex with a minor. Is, well, but it's societal, meaning depending on what decade you live in, it's either legal or illegal. Well, the Bible that okay. people swear by right. had people getting married okay. at, so, at, right, once at they got 12. Once they got their period. Yeah, Listen, yeah. They, biologically, period. there's no reason for a, a man who can procreate and a woman who, pro- who can procreate being attracted to each other and having sex. Biologically. Our society has said, nope. We're saying 18, which, honestly, after I read that shit from the 23-year-old and Aziz Ansari, should probably be 21, because that girl fucking wrote like she was in 8th grade. Like, I could not believe how young that girl seemed. But what we talk about all the time is, you gotta play by the rules. No, no, that's what I'm saying, but what I'm, what I'm, what I'm expressing... It's actually legal in some countries. Yeah, what I'm yeah. expressing is, is that we do have to make a difference, and while he should have known better, of course... She could absolutely have been Lolita in his ass like hardcore because she wanted to fuck Chachi from Happy Days. And by the way, at the end of the video, he goes, she is right. She called me, said she wanted to come over. And like any red-blooded American, American right. but this is you when know he, what happened. But this is when he was, she was 18, 19. She was a beautiful girl. She was beautiful at 14. Exactly. Like, it, it's, not exactly. a, it's not a pedophile thing to say that. She looked like a, a young woman. Mm-hmm. That's what happens when you do your fucking period. So... I, I, this even frustrated me with the Roy Moore thing, where they're like, oh, he's a fucking... Listen, dude, 16-year-old girls, I've seen them. <laughs> they don't look like they're 16. Uh, that's the truth. Oh, you know, that and, is the truth. Right. So yeah. the absolute 100%. Yeah. And, and the you know, way they dress nowadays. It is and... different. But the, let me add one more thing, where I was saying, you might as well make the age of consent 21 these days. We now baby our children to the point of adolescence going till they're fucking 30. I mean, you have people that are not emotionally ready for sexual activity who are 23. And people that, are having sex younger and younger. They are, with, with less emotional maturity. And then the laws make no sense because there's, pro, you know, even if you're the same age as somebody, but you might have turned 18 and they're 17, that's right, right, statutory. Right, right, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. just wrong. Yeah, I mean, like, they got to get rid of that shit. Well, but shit. The, even in the laws, they do have actual ages where, you know, there's a difference between 18 and 17 and yes. 24 and 17. And there's, there's also, a, and they're also go, but it also goes state by state. Like, if I yeah. drive 10 miles, I can fuck you. Like, right. what? Right. Well, hey, let me no. get some gas i'll be right back <laughs> <laughs> like, it doesn't it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense but i, I hear what i hear what you're saying yeah, it's complicated and i i mean i will say this if he had put in a like a denial like a vehement denial like he was right. denying the sex and said that none of the rest of the stuff happened i think i would have believed him right uh, but i think his lack well, of mean, a, his lack of a denial listen he was being honest i think i mean you uh, Far be it to me to like slam cyber being honest. He he admitted to what what happened and when it happened. Um, he showed the proof that he had and he just let it go. I'm not gonna play judge and jury, but um, the fact but the fact is, you know, you got one person saying something happened, another person denying right. something else. Right. Yeah, something no. else that that person A is not talking yeah. about. He just seems like a guy who's pissed off 
That's something that was put to bed. Because they had a good relationship for a long time. Yeah, even Something 20, that was put to bed for two decades is now coming out. Well, and it, it has a it little to like. do with him being a Trump supporter and pissing everybody off as liberal. Too. That really, I mean, there's no doubt about that. But Yeah, look, but look at Aziz. Aziz wants to be liberal. And literally, <laughs> <and> me <laughs> too button right, exactly. fucking times up. And then I he know, gets ripped man. because of that. He, he gets know, that man. poor bastard. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> Dude, it's rough out here we should all single, join, man. We should yeah. all join the convent. Yeah, like, no, I'm the only married guy here. Oh, my God. What are we supposed to do? You know, I go on a date now, man. I bring a, another guy for a witness. Right. No. <laughs> right? You're going to have to give him an app to sign. It's like the designated yeah. driver. Like, you have a designated yeah, guy yeah, who doesn't yeah. drink. Right. Like a designated observer. Yeah, designated observer. He's like, yeah. consent. Right, right. And uh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> And see you later. Flash and the fundamentals. Two complete opposites to solve the world. If you're listening on iTunes, don't forget.